Hey guys, what's up? Bradley Rated here, and I just wanted to discuss with you guys something that's a little bit more important to me, and it's about my experience so far as being a father and a gamer at the same time. I just wanted to give you guys kind of a heads up, and because I feel like this experience has been so unique and so different than anything I've ever experienced, that if you're a gamer and a soon-to-be dad, I have some advice for you and some things that you can expect to help kind of better prepare you for what's coming up so and I just hope that makes sense because this is something that's very important to me and I feel like it's really good information to just kind of have out there so without further ado let's talk about what you can expect so I guess the first thing that should be on your mind if you're a hardcore gamer like myself is how much time will you actually have to game now that you have a child but it doesn't actually start once you have a child. It actually starts beforehand. And let's just give a really rough estimate of what that means. Let's say, for example, that you play about 100 hours a month on games, which if you're a hardcore gamer, that's probably nothing to you. <laughs> but let's say just for the sake of giving an example, that's what you play in a month. As the child gets closer and closer, you will have less and less time, and you will have to cut back significantly the amount of time you will spend gaming and to put it in perspective, I would say take the time that you spend gaming, whatever that may be, and I want you to cut it in half. You will easily, if not even more, lose that much time. So if you were playing games for 100 hours in the month, you can expect to about play maybe only 50 hours that month. And like I said, and as the baby gets closer, you can expect that to go away. Now once the baby is actually or has arrived and is there, <laughs> you can take that number for the first month and basically say goodbye to it. I thought, well, we were in the hospital because we had to end up staying there for a couple of days after my child was born, that I would have time, some downtime, to play Animal Crossing or something like that on my Nintendo Switch, and that just didn't happen. And then for that first month, I maybe got in a grand total of five hours. So <laughs> it gets pretty rough. The baby will keep you awake. The baby will be very demanding and it will take everything you have to keep control of yourself and to keep your sanity in check. If you have to choose between games and sleep, you're not going to choose games. <laughs> you're going to choose sleep and it's going to be really nice if you are even fortunate enough to get a few hours of sleep. And then even after the child is born and as the months have gone by, I have discovered that you can take that half time, so the 50 hours that you spend now playing games per month on average, and you can divide that by about a third. So maybe 15 to 20 hours per month. To give you an example of what I mean is I started Persona 5 Royal all the way back at the beginning of December, thinking I would be able to finish it by the end of December, and I wanted to do a bunch of videos on it, and I still haven't finished it. It is now March, and I'm finally at the end. So it's taken me three to four months now just to be able to finish that RPG. And yes, I could have done a few other things, stayed up later and whatnot to try to get it done sooner, but that's the beauty of being a dad is it doesn't matter as much anymore. As a matter of fact, it's kind of crazy how quickly your perspectives in life will change. I almost wish I had started having a kid sooner because I feel like my perspectives now are so much better. I spend so much more time playing quality video games and really focusing on what is important to me. And a lot of that, to be quite frank, isn't video games. Now, everything I said doesn't necessarily apply to everyone. For example, if you work in the video game industry, you're probably playing video games. Or if you're a famous YouTuber or a famous Twitch player, streamer, person, or you're a professional video gamer, obviously, this doesn't apply to you. This applies more towards the people that aren't. To the average Joe, if you will. And it's that... But, but just to go back to that perspective thing, that is the thing that I can say safely that has been the most interesting aspect about this whole thing. I have 
over 500 Nintendo Switch games now in my collection, and I love it. I love that I collect them, and I always knew I probably would never get around to being able to play all of those games, but I just love the fact that I have them. And what's even cooler now is the fact that I know that someday I'll be able to share that with my baby boy. And it's kind of crazy when I think about the future of gaming, it's not nearly as important. I don't really care to keep up anymore with every single new release that's coming out or what all the big news and drama is in regards to things. As a matter of fact, it almost seems petty to get upset that a big company is trying to milk people out of money with things like microtransactions and everything like that. You just don't care anymore. And it's not that you don't want to care, it's just that your priorities change. You start realizing what's important. You start caring more about, is my baby eating enough food? Or, is my baby happy? How's my how's his progress going? Did I change his diaper? Can he crawl yet? Can he roll over yet? How come he's smiling at me now? He's talking. His first giggle. All of these things are just so much more important and you just quit caring about the little things, the insignificant things, and even to a certain aspect whether or not you're playing the latest and greatest video game. I look at all the games coming out this year, and I go, Deathloop, as an example, looks like a pretty dang fun game, and I bet someone will enjoy it, but it won't be me. It doesn't mean that I don't want to play the latest and greatest games. Of course I do. That's what I've been doing on this channel, at least trying to do on this channel. I mean, I try to play as many games as I possibly can. The quest to play them all is as I have always called it. That's just not true anymore. I have no interest and playing the quest of playing all the video games I possibly can in my life. As a matter of fact, I kind of just want to go back and play the ones that I love growing up as a child. I want to play the ones that matter the most to me because my time is so precious now. And if I even think about that further, I don't even know if I care to go back and play all those games just because I'd rather spend my time with my son. And that is not playing video games right now. It's watching him roll on the floor, drooling, and just being an adorable little baby. It's so wonderful. I guess the real thing I'm trying to say is if you're wondering if it's worth it, if it's wondering sacrificing a hobby and going from 100 hours a month on average to 10 hours on average to take away 90, 80 to 90% I would say of your video game time for the sake of another being. And the answer, without a doubt, is yes. I will say it's probably the most wonderful feeling I think I've ever felt in my life. I don't think I've ever felt happier knowing that I am contributing to the welfare and happiness of my son. So if you're a gamer dad, congrats, and you get something to look forward to. I can't wait to introduce him to video games and to see what his first game will play, or to buy his first console. Man, I just think about these things and I just it gets me so excited, you know, just, ugh, I can't wait for him. He's got to learn how to crawl first, but still, it's just, it's a wonderful feeling. And that's what I'm talking about. It's just awesome to watch him learn and to grow and to do these things. And what will be his first game? Will he even like video gaming? Maybe he'll only like sports. Maybe he'll just be into music. Maybe he'll be into mathematics. It doesn't matter. As long as he's happy, that's all that matters at the end of the day, and it's it's worth it. It's absolutely 110% worth it. Couldn't recommend it enough. And that's just what I wanted to say, guys. I just wanted to get this uh, off my chest. I, like I said, I just felt like it was really important. And if you're going to be a new dad and you're also a gamer, hey, welcome to the club. It's a really great club. It's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I am. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for just listening to me ramble. I don't do things like this ever, it seems like, but this was really nice to get off my chest. So I really do appreciate you taking the time to listen to this old man ramble. Yes, I am calling myself an old man. I feel old now in a good way. It feels awesome to be old. <laughs> all right, I will catch you all later. As always, I am Bradley Overrated, out like a trout, and I will see you next time.